Galnet News Update, 17th of September 3307. Commanders in the Kornsar system are reporting that they've been contacted by Salvation and sent on a secret mission to deliver components for an anti Xeno weapon. The message arrives as suspicions grow that the Aegis megaship Alexandria was wrecked in the Kornsar system following the discovery of large numbers of Guardian components in combat aftermath signal sources. The Thargoid presence in the system has grown significantly with large numbers of non-human signal sources of all threat levels. It seems clear that the population of the system is under significant threat from the alien menace. Salvation's mission is to collect the weapon's components, which will be disguised as basic medicines, from the heart of Taurus megaship in a neighbouring system, and to deliver them to either of the rescue ships in Kornsar. With these weapons parts, Salvation will be able to help eliminate the Thargoid fleet. The mission must be completed by Monday the 20th of September. Salvation is offering a reward for participants in the form of a modified Class II Guardian Gauss Cannon, with increased capacity and burst fire but reduced optimal range, which will be placed into storage on the Bright Sentinel megaship in a neighbouring permit-locked system. The permit for the system will be provided as part of the reward. Salvation repeats again that Aegis cannot be trusted, and appears intent on working in competition to the failing agency rather than with it. It's not clear at present whether the mission is being offered only to those who've previously helped Salvation. The future of Delta Pavonis will be decided by a political conference taking place this weekend. The system, which was one of the founding members of the Federation in 2242, has been run as an independent dictatorship by the autocracy of Delta Pavonis for some time. The mission of the Federation is to persuade Grand Duke Simeon Petrescu, the leader of the autocracy, to rejoin the Federation, but they're up against dictator Yuri Grom, himself a defector from the Federation, who will be trying to persuade the faction to align with his power bloc. In what might be seen as an ominous sign, both ambassadorial teams arrived at Kessler City on Regan's legacy aboard megaships. Ambassador Delphine Dumont of the Federal Diplomatic Corps arrived aboard Freedom's Foundation, and Yuri Grom himself arrived aboard the Indomitable. If the Federation can get Delta Pavonis to rejoin the Federation, there may be some hope that they can stem the tide of defections that has been plaguing President Hudson since the founding of the Proactive Detection Bureau. <laughs> 